Hello everyone and welcome back to today's morning report with me which is Perry Market Analyst at Hantech Markets for Tuesday the 22nd of July. I'm going to move on quickly now to cable, sterling dollar and we continue to have this very gradual drift backwards in cable back towards this band of support between 70 big figure and 7060. You've had three dips into this support now. Uh, in the past five six days um, and each time you've seen the buying pressure come back in so every time you get below 70 60 the buyers come back in so that would suggest that that is around where support is so uh, just bear that in mind um, on a very near-term basis but uh, as I said I think this this is just a gradual drift that's unwinding some of this overbought momentum that we saw on the RSI and the stochastics uh, and now we're not a million miles away from um, completely and utterly having unwound that uh, 51 on the RSI which is uh, getting back to neutral and also the stochastics unwound, unwound as well, um, MACD lines nicely still um, unwinding but uh, it just suggests that I think that ultimately what we're going to see is um, that uh, we're going to be uh, this is my nice ideal buy zone between 70 big figure and 70 60 and uh, I think that we're just going to drift back into that area and then we're going to use that as a, a chance to buy now if you look on the intraday chart you'll see that um, a little bit closer up slight bit of dollar selling pressure sorry slight bit of cable selling pressure uh, in the opening um, exchanges of European trading but nothing uh, too excessive yet. Um, in the last couple of days we've been using this 55 hour moving average as the basis of resistance. Th uh, three, four times now been used so uh, we'll use that as a bit of a gauge. That comes in at 70, 80 and also there is a, a resistance around 71 big figure as well uh, that we need to be looking out for. So 70-80 would be your first um, challenge. If you can get back above that, maybe the bulls will start to re-engage. Uh, but then 71 big figure, I think, is having been the support through this uh, consolidation band for so long, then I think that now becomes the resistance. So again, if that can break above 71 big figure, I think that that would be a sign that uh, the bulls are re-engaging. Um, in terms of momentum indicators on the hourly chart, nothing too um positive yet um there's still the rallies are still uh, rolling over around that mid 50s mark so that is still a, a bit of a corrective outlook there but uh, as soon as as i said i think as soon as we uh, start to move above this 55 day uh, 55 hour moving average i think then then we can start to think about that being a uh, possibility of the bulls coming back but uh, as i said um it's uh, this little drift lower is uh, nothing that i'm excessively concerned about i think it's uh, just going to be coming back into this nice band and then used as a basis of support to uh, push higher once more so um the inflation data this afternoon us inflation at 130 you know, inflation will always have a, an impact on on cable and or, again obviously the housing data so uh, we'll, I think uh, we need to keep an eye on both those pieces of, uh, up, uh, of information this afternoon but um, if uh, if a CPI comes in line with expectations around 2, 2.1 percent I think that that would be fairly neutral I think probably for cable um, but uh, yeah, the uh, the housing data may ha may have the um, the likelihood of more of a surprise, I think, than the inflation data. But we'll uh, we'll see how that goes at three o'clock. Anyway, I wish you good luck in your trading today, and I will speak to you 